Hey guys, welcome to Technical. Today's episode is just going to be me ranting. It's going to be an extra bonus content for the week. Usually I do one a week, but I'm going to throw this one in there as an extra because I've just got to say something. I've got to get on my soapbox and let people know how I feel. So stay tuned if you don't mind me yelling at you for the next seven or eight minutes and saying a bunch of swear words. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, before we start this video, I have to explain to you what a standard is in computing. Now, we're not talking about the kind of standard where you kind of look a hot woman up and down and go, oh, very nice. I can almost look past the penis. No, that's not what we're talking about when it comes to standards and having standards. We're talking about a standard that is agreed upon by a tribal council of companies that come together and say, yes, of course, we all want to be successful. And they come up with a mounting hole scheme and a size form factor to sort of limit yourself to. And voila, you have a standard. Company A, sus, and company Company B, quiet, sitting down together at the same table and saying, we want to sell products, but if we make something that doesn't work with your shit, nobody's going to buy our shit. So let's just agree upon what shit we can sell and everybody's happy. That's a standard. So a standard is something that changes with time out of necessity. Consumer demand warrants the change and things change accordingly. It's a very transient, transformational, other trends where it's very tranny. And just like power supply form factors are now starting to shrink down a bit and they've uh, kind of agreed upon a new standard called SFX. It's new to desktops anyway. And just the same way they have PCIe power connection standards for graphics cards that require external power, the need for large motherboards is slowly dying and I think the standard needs to change. Now you might say to yourself, well I like my full size ATX board. Well I would challenge one of you fuckers to justify to me why you need seven goddamn expansion slots on a board when the majority of you, and you know it, have not once filled more than two of those slots at any given time. And you know this, even if you're a content creator like me. I got a fucking mini ITX system here with an i7-4790K, 16 gigs of RAM, and one expansion slot. I do not have a capture card, and I still get by just fine. So don't tell me that you need a full-size ATX board. And guess what? Even if you do need a full-size board, you don't. Because a fucking micro ATX board has two goddamn PCI slots, SLI and Crossfire compatibility, and two additional slots that will usually accommodate your need for a capture card or a sound card or any other fucking card you want to fucking pop in your system. There's no additional engineering cost that needs to go into shrinking an ATX board down to a micro ATX board, and you get a lot of the benefits that mini ITX provides in terms of saving space. Not quite as many, but it's a nice compromise in between for people who don't necessarily want to go full balls to the wall small form factor and retain some of that flexibility that comes with a full-size board. Now speaking of the ITX form factor, let's go over that for a minute. Now that was built out of this necessitative trend for small form factor PCs. Everyone likes small these days. They want everything to be able to fit on a shelf on a fucking display cabinet in the living room and I'm totally cool with that. I like ITX. My main system kind of regrettably is an ITX system. My TV PC will always be an ITX system, and it's certainly sitting under there in an SG-13, thumbs up there. And I have nothing against the ITX form factor, but the bottom line is, for people who need full power, it is just not good enough. The space constraints of even the largest ITX cases, like this Fantex Enthu Evolve ITX case sitting right in front of me, are often too great for people who do a lot of content creation, who overclock, and want to get the most out of their system. Even in the largest of cases, you are still making some temperature and frequency and power delivery compromises that make you a little slower than full-size cousins. Furthermore, heat and noise are augmented exponentially the smaller you go. Yes, it is possible to keep an SG-13 from Silverstone cool and have overclocking and all that good stuff, but the chances of it being quiet and pleasant are minuscule at best, considering there's only one fucking fan mount in the thing, and if you use that for a radiator for one of your two main sources of heat, the other one is fucked! So what is my point in all this? What's my message? What am I trying to convey? What am I trying to achieve? Well, let's put it this way. I spoke to NZXT about their S340 Elite. I had the privilege of asking them a question about the new product. I said, hey, NZXT, I like your case. Looks pretty. I like this thing. I like that you took a simple, affordable, mid-range case and made a, a super pretty tempered glass version that I could see my beautiful face in. But problem is, it's it's, my, it's full ATX and I, I kind of want micro ATX. Are you ever going to release a micro ATX version of this case? And of course their answer was, hell no! What are you fucking stupid? Nobody buys micro ATX cases. So, I can't blame them. They're right. 
nobody buys micro ATX cases anymore. Uh, sometimes they sell. I mean, budget builders will pursue micro ATX cases and micro ATX motherboards because they are typically on average the cheapest. But in the world of mid-range to enthusiast builds, I fully accept that micro ATX is a bit of a rarity. In the same way that you're fighting for mini ITX motherboards of better quality and with more features and you're fighting for small form factor power supplies to become the new norm because you don't need full-size ATX motherfuckers in your build anymore. And in a world where power requirements of even high-end systems are coming down and we can kind of accommodate a slight reduction in space, all I am asking you, my faithful followers, is to, going forward, pressure your companies, your retailers, into providing a viable micro-ATX option. I think it's the best of the three main form factors available for the reasons I've stated in this video. You get full-size functionality in a slightly smaller space, and you just give up almost nothing. Anyhow, I have an ulterior motive for making this video today. Jackbox Party Pack 3 comes out tomorrow. I have ordered it. It will be in my Steam library and up and running tomorrow. And guess what? Myself and my lovely girlfriend Kate are going to be playing the game live here on my YouTube channel and we are going to be asking six of you at random to come and join us for each game. And guess what? I'm going to be giving away Steam keys to the people who win each of the games. It was a lot of fun the last time we did it. We got about something like 10 to 15 people come out and a couple of the viewers played and that's where we got the idea. It's like maybe we can do this on a semi-regular basis and then goof around and have some fun with it. By the way, before I close out, big thanks to Spaker Arts. Uh, I think they pronounced that right. He's a viewer just like you and he said to me, hey, do you need to do? He said, hey, hey, do you need new channel art? And I was like, fuck yes I do. I can't do shit with a goddamn computer. I know how to build them. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And believe it or not, it came through. He was just like, here's some new channel art. So you see the new banner on my channel there and you see the new intro picture. That's all him. Uh, and I think it looks gorgeous. He knew, I guess, intuitively that I liked purple and he sort of like purple themed it with some steely blue. That was real great. So Big thanks to him. I'm going to be whoring his shit out forever for that. He didn't ask for a cent, never even applied it once. So I'm going to make sure that if he wants to go places with his digital artwork, he gonna. As this channel grows, he shall grow with me. Like brothers in a circle jerk, we all shall rise together. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.